Have you been wondering how to buy a home for the first time? Maybe it's just your first time to buy a home in Oregon. Maybe it's your first time ever or just in a long time. So this video is going to talk about a little bit preparation, some of the upfront costs and what it takes to buy a home. So do you think you're ready to buy your first home? Well, let's find out. So first of all, are you a person who has a budget? Do you know, you know your income versus your spending? Are you living within your means currently or have you been using those credit cards? So many people I talk to about getting into their first home we have to put the brakes on the process because they have all this credit card debt. Credit card debt sucks. So the first thing you need to think about is budgeting. Now I know that's a horrible word. Let's call it a spending plan. So do you have a spending plan currently? Do you know what you earn, what your bills are? Are you saving? That's the second thing to ask yourself. Are you currently in the habit of saving some of your money each month, even if it's ten dollars, um, you know, it doesn't have to be twenty percent of your income or anything like that. But just, do you have healthy financial habits? Okay, so if everything looks good, your budget's in order, your debt is under control, you're living on less than what you make. Let's talk about purchasing a home. Okay, so let's jump ahead. Let's assume you've already talked to a lender and you know how much you qualify for and we already talked about your budget. So you have a good idea of what kind of a home payment, including taxes and insurance that you are comfortable with, which by the way, might be significantly less than your lender is willing to lend you. So just be careful. And that's why I started this conversation with you talking about your budget. You really need to know your own personal numbers and what you're comfortable with on a monthly basis. So the very first one that's going to come up between you and your realtor is when your realtor is writing up that offer and you've decided how much you're going to offer on this property that you found. Um, you know what your down payment is because your lender has talked to you about that. But there's one other number that you're going to have to come up with and that is called earnest money. There's the definition of earnest. So if you are buying a $300,000 home, then typically you want to offer the seller about 1% of the purchase price as earnest money deposit. And this money is it's written in the contract. So let's say you want to offer them $3,000 in earnest money. If they accept your offer, then you are literally going to have to write a check for $3,000, take it to the escrow company and deposit it there. And it just stays there. And when everything is done and the closing happens on your property, that money just becomes part of your down payment. Okay, so what else are you gonna need cash up front for in order to purchase a home? Well, if your offer gets accepted, then one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is a home inspection and I always recommend everybody do at least at the minimum a thorough home inspection. So the third amount of money that you need in order to write an offer on a home is you've got to have your down payment ready to go. It has to be liquid funds which means available cash. It could be sitting in a um, money market account or a savings account or checking account but it has to be ready and available. It can't be like stocks, you know, that you're going to have to sell in order to get the cash from. So it has to be liquid funds available. So there's one more cost that you're going to run into and that's going to happen at the very end of your transaction and those are called closing costs. Now a lot of those are uh, related to your loan. So those are fees and, and charges from your lender. Some of them are going to be from the title company. There's going to be fees for the services they provide and document fees, title search fees, 
you're going to have probably some prepaid interest. You might have an HOA fee. Um, several different things can be involved there. But closing costs are usually around 1% of the home value that you're purchasing. So in this example, you're probably going to have you know three to four thousand dollars worth of closing costs. You can sometimes get the seller to contribute to those. So it's always worth an ask. Ask them to give you a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars toward your closing costs. And you may have to bump up your offer a little bit, or at least give them a full price offer. And generally, you know, oftentimes they will go ahead and give you that credit toward your closing costs. help in Bend, I'm here for you. So if you give me a thumbs up on my video, click the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll get notified each week when I put out a new video, real estate tips and moving to Bend, living in Bend.